welcome back on this video I'm going to show you how to sign in for the first time because you're signing in for the first time the system wants you to complete your profile as an interpreter before you can go on to your first assignment so you're going to get to a page like this and this you realize is my profile because I've already done it the first thing I want you to do is to go to change password click here and change password to something that is meaningful to you okay because the password that we sent you it was just a random string of numbers that may be hard to remember down the road and what I want you to do now is to complete your profile go to edit profile over here click on it and then spend some time into getting all the information in that you think is relevant also things that are going to make it easier for us to find you and to refer you to other clients and colleagues when the time comes so basically you can select a different image and you will notice that you have four tabs here so this is a long document it's going to take you maybe 15 minutes to complete on every page you're going to have asterisks to indicate what the mandatory fields are on this page for example the only one that is really mandatory is your mother tongue so you can continue at your leisure you can go now to professional details where you're going to enter your professional summary highlights of your career your professional domicile which might be important to you if you're an IE interpreter for example and then your languages your working languages so the A languages are going to be pre-populated based on the previous screen mother tongue and then you have to indicate your B languages and C languages I don't have to tell you what they are because I assume you completed or you viewed uh, the last video that tells you exactly that here is where you get to pick the different specializations if you have any for example conference interpretation court interpreting and medical interpreting you won't find things like consecutive or escort interpreting because you can't do any of that on kudo right and you will notice here that we ask you whether you accept hourly pay or half day pay I have marked yes for both because I don't mind doing short assignments if I'm an interpreter for a good hourly pay now we're not suggesting that you accept hourly pay or half day pay kudo doesn't look to engage interpreters directly but it's good to have that information in case we want to refer you to a client or to a colleague so education is where you enter your highest level of education completed graduate in my case the name of your school when you graduated and importantly where you indicate whether you have or you don't have an interpreting degree right this is very important information on your profile continuing on you have now a page to enter all your contact info including your LinkedIn profile and your blog or web presence before you finish and hit submit we need you to check those two boxes the first one is where you indicate that everything you entered as information is correct and true and the second box is where you say that you agree with kudos terms of use we're going to review those terms of use in more detail in step seven of this training but at this point it might be important for you to go back to the kudo website kudoway.com go all the way down to the footer and you're going to find a link to our privacy and also terms of use make sure you take a good look at that read it through if you want to really make an informed decision and then check the box with that you're ready to submit unless you want to change anything on your profile which you can always do just by clicking on edit profile again you can now either log out by clicking on your name here and then logging out or you can go straight to your first event so you go to the events tab and choose today for example and there you have your first event so completing your profile is really important and it's something that we really need you to get done before you can proceed to other stages and steps on this course. Thank you for watching and see you again on the next video.